Yeah, this is another one of those G and Low things. It feels good to be working, family. I'm back. Uh. So without further ado, it's time to get these people what they need. Let's work. Uh. G and Low, G and Low. Woo! Say La Vie. Never feeling uncool whenever they try me. I'm sure to be getting love in any place I be. So it's no need to reach whenever they ID. You know why? Why? Cause my reputation preceded me Stuck to the goal in the same vision that we believe Giving you raw with a little touch of some decency They all say the greatest, we agree I made them wait and kept them all in suspense Then I watched them leave the What up though? Welcome back to Where the Mike At Podcast Usual players, prolific to professional G minor And your boy Low. G and Low Music Back for another discussion A few more topics A few more uh, debates if you will, and uh, we're always hitting you with the top five, so we got some things in store for you this week. Yes, we'll jump right into it. Um, I don't think we addressed it last episode, but we want to talk about Meek Mill's situation um, and kind of, I guess, bring it all the way up to current date with uh, regard to the probation violation for the two arrests, I guess, was what was brought upon him initially, and then they wanted to give him any, anywhere between two to four years for the violation at this point. There was some controversy with the judge, so... Um, where we at now with it? Man, that shit crazy. Um, from what I hear now, they gonna, um, let another judge hear it. Because, I mean, that makes no sense. I mean, he was popping a willy. Um, yeah. <laughs> and crazy. I mean, my man, see, uh, it was crazy because they had something on the internet. They had, uh, or Instagram, they had Meek Mill next to that, uh, that one white guy, uh, who, uh, raped a girl in college. And he did. He he didn't get. I I, I think he got six months. And um, oh right right right. I remember. He that. got six months. Six months probation. Yeah, six months probation. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't for, even jail. <laughs> for rape. Yeah. Oh wow. For rape. A white a white college student. He raped definitely girl, has some connections. Though. Raped a girl. <laughs> got six months probation, and they want to give Meek Mills two to four for popping a willy. Two to four years in prison for popping a willy. Yeah. On the set of a video, mind you. That's, right. that's it. That's it. it. I mean, makes no sense. They said he violated his probation by popping the willy. He got a ticket, and they want to sit him in jail for two to four years. So they don't let another judge here because I don't know. I guess this judge was biased or whatever. I, I don't know what was her problem. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. I hope. I hope McNeil. You know, he get out of this situation. He don't <clears throat> do four years. I know that. Yeah, it's fucking insane in itself, and and like you were saying, it's the judge. More or less, the judge that did the sentencing. It's, it's overkill. We know that. We all know that. Um, I don't know the story, you know what I'm saying, for detail to detail. From But from what I'm hearing, she had a somewhat business-type relationship prior to all of this going on. Trying to make deals with Meek Mill and his managers and... Something between Rock Nation and trying to get him signed to another manager. You know what I'm saying? She had actual <clears throat> personal side notes along with this. So, in my opinion, and I'm not a law person, I don't know the law like that, nor am I a lawyer. But it just seems like to me she shouldn't have never even been trying this case Conflict from the get. Yeah, hmm. she should have been recused from the from the from the jump, just from the simple fact that she had some type of outlying relationships with him that was outside of the courtroom. Hmm. You know, she was trying to garner deals, from what I hear, with um, some type of managers with Rock Nations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I even heard, and I don't know if this is rumor or not, it was even one point she made a request that she wanted Meek Mills to do a redo a Boys to Men song yeah. and give her some type of shout out on it or something like that. The point is, this judge had some type mm -hmm. of relationship with him. So, to me, it just seemed like she was salty about all his nose or whatever went on and she just gave him the hammer with it. Right. She's just stupid. I mean, it just goes back to that overkill shit. I mean, you hate to bring the racial shit into it because it's actually a black judge. She was a black woman, but why would you... Uh, it's just... It's too many people out here, like you just brought up. It was some white guy or... Not even a white guy. It's some rapist. Alleged <laughs> rapist. Yeah. Right. Who's getting less time than that? And you're going to give, just out of spite, you're going to give somebody two to four years yeah. on some bullshit? And not a legend. On he a technicality? Yo, yeah. you have every right in your whole law book to do some <clears throat> shit like that. Do you really have to, though? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's some fuck shit, but 
you know, yeah. I guess we'll see how it turn out. Yeah, I don't really, I, I don't know. So many things went through my head when you were just saying that. I, not that you can't be a judge and have other business ventures, but right. it just seems like, what are you doing? Like, right. Why are you rock nation about yeah. some artists who, you know, you, you know, you trying to, I don't know. Your aspirations is going outside of what your actual vocation is. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it seems like yeah. you got a lot more on your plate. Right, you're trying to, to you're trying to finagle some shit. But yeah. our criminal system is fucked up. <sighs> yeah, there's, there's definitely some system. disparities in there somewhere. Yeah, but, uh, some privileges. Yikes! Well, to pull something from that, um, then it's kind of ill how I pull this one detail. But this has nothing to do with the story for real. But speaking of Rock Nation, shout out to Nisha Nishay from Detroit. Mm-hmm. Um, just ink to deal with Rock Nation. Um, again, we we are not like really in her circle or nothing like that. But you know, we just locals, seeing her kind of rise to fame, so to speak. And not sure the terms of the agreement. You know, I know Rock Nation has their hand in a lot of things, whether it's just touring, management, um, uh, you know, getting you opportunities for uh, marketing, whether it be you know getting her in a cover girl ad or something right. like that. You know, that's kind of what they do. So I'm not sure in what capacity she's. Signed with them in, but regardless, you know, shouts to you. Okay. A win is a win. Yeah, all yeah. day. I all think day. she joins, as far as I know, I think she joins Big Sean and um, the producer Key Wayne. They're the only people from Detroit, I think, are under Rock Nation currently. Okay. And her being okay. a third, so maybe more. Um, hadn't, they only got too many people to, find, to keep up with, you know what I'm saying? But shouts to her, man. I'll yeah, second that. Big shout out. Mm-hmm. Shout Hopefully, out. in the future, we'll get to work for you. You got three producers right yeah, here. Yeah. If you see, hear this, or some of your people. <laughs> I'll let your boys. Oh, we certainly know some people that you know, so. Yeah. We, we do <laughs> know. Hopefully, you know, we'll cross right, right. One day for sure, for sure. Touche. Um, yeah, man, so where can we go from here, man? I know we, we got a couple more things on the plate. I'm honestly drawing a blank uh, right in front of your eyes. Yeah, so. you <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Right I guess at to, it. To come right from <laughs> right yeah, the internet. Coming right from me, you know, Nicki Minaj had the paper magazine shoot, and um, I'm not sure if y'all saw the other photos outside of just the cover. No, I saw the photos. Okay, yeah. I mean, everybody's been posting the, in, the you know, the, the inside pictures since it actually was released. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can go to, like, any of those. I'm not going to shout them out on here. But you can go to any of those, like, me rap publications. They got it on there. Oh. All of them are pretty provocative, but the cover photo is the most provocative, I should say. So if you saw that one, though, yeah, it's, scale back. it's the shock value. But, um, I like it. I'm not sure if it was her idea or probably more so Paper Magazine, the Break the Internet caption. I think it kind of dulled the moment. Yeah, I think so, too. You know what I mean? I, I think they kind of, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you kind of, you kind of told her, you spoiled it. Yeah. You spoiled it. You put the spoiler out there before, you know, letting the people get their own reaction. You kind of told them what they should be doing instead of letting it be natural or organic. But, yeah. I Still, like I like it. I know. No, don't get me wrong. I didn't say I didn't like it, like, Nikki. No, it's out to her. No, yeah. It's, it's kind of like walking on the court saying, I'm better than Michael Jordan. And then Jordan yeah, bust yeah, your ass. Right. Then you put the yeah. card on your back. <laughs> right. Yeah. Lonzo so Ball. How about thing. that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no Nikki got to do something, you know, create a little bit. A little buzz because she's not really popping like you know how she was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She but she do got a nice <clears throat> song with a uh, little Uzi Vert that I heard on the radio. Oh, yeah, um, okay. yeah, it was. I, I'm not a big Uzi Vert fan, but the song's sweet, and then her, her verse is sweet, so yeah. yeah. It's been a minute since she had a major song of her own. Well, a song that really stuck, I should say. Yeah. But, I mean, she's been around. Ain't like she ain't faded. I mean, she's on probably, arguably, the biggest song of the summer, the, the Yo Gotti joint. Mm-hmm. The Rain mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah, right. She's right, on right. there. So, it's like, it's not like she's not, you know, in our ministry. Yeah, not really. Right, right. And even if she's not trying to be, she's still attached to Meek Mills, which is very, very relevant right now. So, her name is still in the mix or something. So. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I get y'all what y'all saying with the music and everything. So. I mean, she didn't necessarily have to do this because it's not like it's another female rapper that's like overtaking the throne yet no i mean i know remy and Lil Kim put out that song cardi b got a hot yeah cardi b got a hot yeah she got the hottest song of the year yeah she blowing up quick yeah she blowing up real quick but she got to come with that next joint you know yeah she got to have a follow-up yeah cardi b is like kobe having a 40-point game in his rookie year it's like okay that's nice but i might i still got you know what I'm saying? I still got three. Well, at the time, he had three. Right. Mike was going on to win three more. You know, Nicki's mm-hmm. got six rings to me, as far as female rap is concerned. So, 
Shout to her. Shout to Cardi. Shout to, like I said, Remy just still doing her thing. Her album's on the way, too. And um, did y'all hear that song she put out with Lil' Kim? Remy? Yeah. Yeah, that new one. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't hear yeah. it. It's okay. It's uh, not. Yeah. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not like uh, all the way up. No. Remy did, <laughs> Remy did her thing on there. Lil' Kim was, it was all right. Yeah. And then I don't know what that chorus was doing. I don't know. I don't know but what it, the hell I mean, was going on, man. I don't know. Who did the track, y'all know? I don't know, but you've heard the sample a hundred times. Oh, this was, okay. Remember that song Kim had with Mary J. Blige a long time ago? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Mm. It's the same, same sample. Oh, it's the same sample. Yeah. But it's more of a hardcore uh, mm. Mm. track behind it, you know. Yeah. Shots to them, man. Yeah, no Shit, doubt, no man. doubt. Where we going with it next? What we got? You had uh, groups, right? Oh yeah. Get into it. yeah. Oh yeah, let's get into a little discussion. This is a little fun we wanna have based on the Instagram post that I saw. And mm-hmm. I thought it'd be interesting to I didn't want to discuss it with a bunch of strangers on the Instagram. I wanted to bring it to the brothers, you know what I'm saying? People that I actually know and have discussions with music with and all that. So as far as we just strictly talking hip hop because it only really applies to hip hop when it comes to like crews. All right. And when I say crews, I'm not talking about like the rapper and his entourage, we want to talk like more so either rap labels or, or you know what I'm saying, the rap crews who had a stamp like Diplomats, Death Row, No Limit, Bad Boy, Cash Money, um, Rough Riders. So out of those and, and you know, the others that, that I didn't mention, mm-hmm. who do you think, based on any criteria you want to use, who, who was the best rap crew from from the inception of hip hop to now, mm-hmm. mind you, we in our early thirties, so so some of the older cats that's watching, we probably might not make the guys from the eighties. So whatever. Let me ask you this, bro. <laughs> let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. Would would Def Jam would that be considered no, as a crew, okay. or are okay. we gonna use that as a, that's like that's something else? That's like that's, a, that's something else because that's more of an umbrella. That's an institution. So, yeah. To get right. <laughs> but but to your example, so. We'll say, you think about who all was signed to Def Jam at a point. So you could so say like, uh, Def Squad, Def which Squad, was Red Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Serum, and them guys. Right, Rough Riders. Rough Riders had a deal yeah. with them. Or uh, Murder Inc. Yeah. had a deal yeah. with right. Def right. Jam. So you want to break it down all to right. the actual well, crew I as opposed you. to the conglomerate. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes because, sense. I mean, okay, I got you. So I'm going to have to say. <laughs> and it's all personal preference. No, 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 no. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to have to say, because my favorite crew was Death Row. But okay. I can't say that they're the best. And put and, and do this too. Sorry to cut you off, yeah. but when you name your crew, you yeah. gotta give us a a, le- a reason or two why. You yeah, yeah, believe yeah. So. Death Row is up there, of course, but I will have to go with Cash Money. The reason I'm gonna have to go with Cash Money hmm. is the longevity. Okay. Cash Money has been on a high level for a long time. Death Row had. A big, a, a, a huge run, but it was for a short amount of time. Right. They, they kind of opened the yeah, door. Yeah, it was probably like after that one. Right. I would say Death Row run was ninety two to ninety six. Like a huge earthquake. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. shook the world up yeah. for about four years. Yeah, about yeah. ninety two to ninety six. Yeah. Cash Money was a probably around ninety seven, maybe. Yeah. Maybe ninety seven to st- still. I mean, yeah. I mean, they. I mean, if you want to be real, Drake is still signing them. When Drake releases a project, it, it's. I mean, several different hands in the baby pot, had right? at one point he had the top three. I mean, you had he had Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm. Drake, and two of those three are still arguably the hottest. Right, yeah. and then you got then you when you back up some, you had Juvie, you had the Hot Boys, all that. All them, I mean, they had they their run, their longevity. So I that's why I would put them at one, and then I then I would have to do Death Row, just because the legendary status. You got Pop, you got Snoop, you got Dre, you got the Dog Pound, you got Rage, you got like legendary Death Row. Ain't nobody like Death Row is. And then I have to go Bad Boy Three. Um, just because of Biggie and then they, I mean, they Bad Boy had longevity as well. Yeah. So I had to go Bad Boy and just the hits. The I would hits say they as, had. as far as longevity, I'll say Bad Boy's probably behind. I think they're right behind Cash Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah, definitely longevity. Yeah, I can see that. Bad Boy. Yeah, it makes sense. I'll just have, from a time, just yeah. from a timeline standpoint, maybe not the best, 
artists or the biggest records or most sales and stuff like that. But right, yeah. but like you said, that longevity. Yeah. yeah, I will have to. I will have to say, Bad Boy would be number three. So, uh, Cash Money, Death Flow, Bad Boy. Um, then I would. I'll probably put. I probably put No Limit, man. No Limit would probably be my four. Reason being, I. <laughs> Trust me, No Limit did not have the best lyrical performances, <laughs> but P yeah. sold a lot of records. Yeah. <laughs> P yeah. sold a lot of records. P hit hit the street like an epidemic. Like it, he yeah. he he marketed his shit like it was crack. Even if you didn't like, want it, you had to like at least pay attention. Yes, he marketed his shit like right. it was crack. That shit, I never saw nothing hit like that. Like it just hit like I'm thinking it was in like probably the in the middle school. Like early high school, it just hit. All you saw was body t shirts, that shit. People <laughs> yeah. wearing fake tanks in school and shit. Yeah, like, right. like, it was like ridiculous. Like, so no limit. <clears throat> and, and the peak came through crazy. So I would have to say no limit. And then probably my fifth would probably be probably the Rough Riders. I like Rough Riders, DMX when they hit and stuff. Uh, DMX, you had Eve who had. Real big records. You got Swiss Beats came from that. Yeah. One of the best producers. Um, that whole little movement was crazy. You had the Locks. Um, even though it was a bad boy first, when they got over to uh, Rough Riders, yeah. it was something totally different. Mm -hmm. So I would say the Locks because I mean you had that griminess and stuff too. But uh, yeah, that would probably be my five. I'm gonna be fucking honest with you. I can't. I don't have anything. I am missing one. <laughs> You, you know what, though? My five, it was one other one that was right there, too, that was right under the Rough Riders. I put them, it was kind of like this. and I Murray. Nah, Murray English should have been up there, but I was going to say Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang, dog, they shit, Wu-Tang was something yeah. crazy, yeah, dog. You got a movement. No, they even, did. And they I'm had, talking like, about culture, too. Yeah, they like on a global level. They had a culture, Like, they, yeah. that global level. And also they, they, also, they were a legitimate group. Group. Right, they yeah, were actual like, group. Yeah, right. it's, it's not like it was Wu Tang Records and it was yeah. like right, right, right. No, guys. So yeah, they, they gonna move just nine dudes. Mm -hmm. Plus, and you think of all the offspring that Wu Tang had yeah. too. There was yeah. a point I want to say in like ninety seven, ninety eight. It was like everybody was putting that W on the back of their shit. Like, right. who was these niggas? Like, right. who was you, had the, these you had the Wu Wear all that stuff. They had the leather yeah. jackets, yeah. the Wu Wear stores, yeah. and all that stuff. So Wu Tang had it, but I just wasn't that into Wu Tang like that. No, I, I mess with them, and I, you know what I'm saying. But I, I just mess with certain components of them. Yeah, or not, yeah right? I Those just, I'm just not that hardcore right. Wu fan. I was more of a Bone fan myself, but, yeah. <laughs> but no doubt, I would have to say that's my does. top five. Bone they came out the gate hard too. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what, G shit, it's really hard. Fuck, you just put it all in a nutshell. I mean, anything I say would just be repeating after you. Yeah. To be, you know, for the, I mean, I don't really have an order. Per se, but everybody that you pretty much touched on to mention, I would probably mention the same exact motherfucker. So, it, yeah. I, yeah, man. You kinda... no, I wasn't even going to go that deep into it as far as... Right. I, I didn't know you were going to go top five. Nah, I thought yeah. you were just going to do... Oh, oh and that, that's I misinterpreted not, it. That's not our top five. That no, was just, not, no, it wasn't. I was but, just shooting you know, shit off. Hey, that's what's up, man. I was just shooting shit off. You fucked around? You fucked around? I got a triple double. I was just shooting shit off. I was just shooting shit off. off the whole load. Oh. Every nah, time I'm you kept like, talking, I'm like, there go my idea. Right, All right, right, there go my other one. Damn. Fuck, he got another one. <laughs> no, I just say, I, I just say, death row from personal. From I mean, yeah, personal. when it like he like, but G said that at the beginning from his personal favorite, well, death row is all all the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they open up the gates for everybody afterwards. Yeah, they just from that whole how they had shit structured, how they had shit going through the whole organization. That I mean, death row was. Yeah, I mean, we just... They was the pinnacle. Oh, you know who else? Obviously talking about the outside looking in. They could, we've heard the dysfunctional stories about the studio, the business. And, so and, we don't and, know. And that's what made them what they were. You know who else, though? Aftermath. Aftermath they had... had uh, the, Aftermath started that, off slow. But yeah, once that had, once I mean, M came out, you had that game. M, you had Dre. You had D12 came from that. You, know, you had, had G game, came from that. Game, game came yeah, from that. Yeah. yeah. They started off slow, but once they got the ball rolling, they took over. And now, they took over for a while, too. Kendrick Lamar is affiliated with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. No, yeah, Aftermath was definitely later on. But, yeah, they started off slow. And, you know, you had the years of King T and... Right. Yeah, that was... King T, <laughs> yeah. uh, Shout out to King T. But, but, RBX uh, yeah, you know, hey, you know. That, but, that, that, yeah, that, that was some slow... That's <laughs> some sad times back then. Some sad times, but... I've been there. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. definitely after Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, you know. that wasn't the one. <laughs> I did like that Firm album, though. Firm? Oh, yeah, the Firm was the I shit. Firm hated on the Firm album. Dre hated on it. I liked it. Yeah, he did say he that. He said one. it was a flop. But I mean, she sold like it. three million copies. I liked it, man. No, yeah, I fucked with the Firm. I liked the Firm. That show. was dope. I guess he felt like it wasn't exactly what he wanted. Yeah. Personal, mm-hmm. But yeah. whatever. Michael Jackson cried after he stood on his toes after... What's it? Motown 45? He said he didn't stand long enough. He said he didn't stand long enough. Oh, wow. Well, I guess that's why Detox never came out, because he don't want it to be the first. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Look that's out for Detox. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so are we going in, right into the top five? Let's go right into it. We may as well. Why not? Right, right, you got it. What's up? So, the top five, um, we're going to go with the top five comedians this week. You know what I mean? It's a lot of hot comedians out there right now. All time, mm-hmm. right? All time. A lot of... We lot going. Of- a lot of Kevin Hart hate nowadays. Yeah, it's a lot of Kevin Hart hate. You know, we didn't never touched on that, but with the whole shit going on this summer and yada yada yada. But yeah, it's a lot of hot comedians out there. A lot of not known comedians, but we gonna go with the top five all time. And now all time. And now we going like just so I can get the criteria. Are we going like top five comedian stand ups or top five comedians period like in movies or like? Like mm-hmm. just, no, man. We just going top five comedians. Okay. I mean, I think even the ones that's in movies at one point they probably did stand up. <laughs> yeah, maybe not on a good even though they stand ups wasn't that like, good. Like we right, you got that. some, you got some comedians that are better scripted. Yeah, than they right. are stand up comedians. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. but we gonna go top five all time. Whatever fuck your pick is, that's what we gonna go. Okay. Yeah, as long as they're not like. A straight up actor, like yeah, not, don't like like Vince Vaughn or yeah, Jim Carrey, and I'm not saying, and I and I think Jim Carrey did at one point did a stand up, but yeah. he's not known as a stand up type of guy. He so, didn't have have concerts and shit like that. Not that I know of. So they had to earn their chops yeah. a little bit on the stand. Yeah, they had to have. I put it like this. All right, we'll mention the criteria. They had to have at least one like concert type okay. of ordeal. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So am I going first? That's fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, fuck it. Yeah, fuck Let's it. go. I'm going to go with Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Eddie mm-hmm. Murphy. Mm-hmm. All right. Martin Lawrence. Okay. Robin Harris. Okay. And uh, Bernie Mac. That's my top five. Right okay. there. Right off the gate. That's solid. That's I didn't good. even flinch. Nah, you went through it pretty good. I didn't flinch, man. I can't sit here. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. I ain't scared of you. Who you in? Who you in? I can't say I don't have some of them in mind. That's all right. Who next? Who next? Uh, Who got it? I'll go. Uh, right. I'll go. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Richard Pryor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Martin Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Then I will have to go. Chris Rock will be my four. And then I will have to go Bernie Mac. Ooh, that's I my didn't five. See Chris Rock. Yeah. Okay. Coming out of you. I didn't well, see you that. Had, like maybe I didn't one. See that. One spot coming, coming up there. One. Okay. All right. Shouldn't take very long, but I do. I got six. Somebody got to go. Um, <laughs> somebody got to go. Uh, go, prior. Okay. To me, I listened to this nigga on tape. That's how I know. Man. Like I was really into it. Man. You know what I'm man. saying? Wow. Uh, rock. Mm-hmm. Rock is not funny to most people. You got to kind of be a little more cerebral to get into. Yeah, he's got that political. Rock, he's got that political type of. His jokes know. sometimes take. Six minutes. Right, you got to see you what's, know what I'm saying. He's he's a more socio political type of comedian. You right. got to know what's going on mm-hmm. in the bigger scope of things. Right, to get some of his jokes. Um, <clears throat> this is another pick that I ain't gonna say controversial, but I got Chappelle. Chappelle is fucking hilarious. To me. His movies to me suck, but his stand ups is the shit. Like I I think no, half baked is fucking that. stupid. I, that shit wasn't funny. <laughs> but what happened? That shit was that's not. That's a classic. Bro. That's, that's a classic. A classic. Oh, fucking Scarface. Hey man, man, whenever you act, hey, man. the character Scarface, hey, you my fuck hero. You. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> You're cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm out. I, I saw that shit. I was like, this cannot be the same dude from that. Whatever. But, <laughs> but again, Richard Pryor movies wasn't all that funny. Oh either. yeah, same thing. Right, yeah, right, right. Different, whole different ball game. So I got those three. Then I got um, Eddie Murphy. He probably is the first person I actually saw on, you know, because prior shit was before. I didn't see Eddie, his tapes. Eddie Murphy was our generation. He was our shock value. Yeah, we grew up. like, like this was We like grew the, up oh, sneaking and watching Raw and Delirious like, oh, this shit. Is what, this is what right. adults is into. This is crazy. Like little kids see Kevin Hart now. That's how we saw Eddie exactly, Murphy. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Um, 
in this five spot, man. This is where I kind of hate to do this. But and it's not nothing you already mentioned. It's between Martin and Bernie Mac. But I'm going to go Bernie Mac because I think Martin was the better comedic personality than he was a stand-up. Okay. Kind of like how Mike Epps is funnier in the stuff that's scripted than he is on stage, to me. He's funnier as Day-Day than he is in front of people on the mic. Okay. You know I said? Martin had two good ones, two good stand-ups, for sure, for sure. But Martin's show and even the movies that he did, them shit's funnier than stand-up to me. You know what I'm saying? So I got to put Bernie Mac in there over him because Bernie Mac's shock value on stage and just his attitude and his anger a lot of times on that stage was funnier than most of the stuff that he had done. Again, he ain't scared of you, motherfucker. He ain't. <laughs> you know, with uh, with Chappelle, I, I fuck with Chappelle's show, but like his comedies don't—they're funny, but they don't make me like bust out laughing. You talking about Dave Chappelle? Yeah. Now yeah. that now that shit on that on that Def Jam shit was funny as hell. But oh yeah, you talking about improv? Yeah, yeah, that but, was he ain't right there. Yeah, 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 he, yeah but, but his his standups don't—they <clears throat> don't do it for me like like say a Murphy or like a Chris Rock and them like he they but now his. Like that Chappelle show was Yeah, that was a pinnacle of his yeah, career. That I mean ridiculous. that that ripped but open his, the whole yeah. Chappelle's stand up just don't don't they don't bring it out of me. Like like a Bernie Mac. Like I I thought I was gonna fucking die on that Kings of Comedy on right. Bernie Mac's thing, dude, but yeah, yeah, real quick, it's a lot of a lot of honorable mentions we can go through. We're not gonna go through them. You know, you got the red foxes and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. But I'm real interested that nobody, and I'm I'm asking y'all, did y'all consciously not pick him, or do y'all just really don't think don't he remember. wasn't that? Okay. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was funny, but he ain't. That in wasn't a five. conscious decision. Then, let me oh, okay. I ain't, scared of, in, in, I ain't scared of the whole controversy. Oh, okay, because I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Because Bill Cosby, <laughs> you know, in my opinion, it's just me, Bill Cosby, forget all the pioneer shit, because he did. He was a huge pioneer Hold to up, a lot man. of comedians, probably bigger than anybody that we mentioned. But besides all that, he used to have some of the funniest fucking tapes yeah, he did. of all time. He, did. he nah, really he, did. He was he was great with him as his storyteller. Yeah, he used to tell no doubt. Story. Yeah, 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 he did. Yeah. But I just thought I, I was just I was just trying to see no, if no, anybody no, no. was gonna pick him <laughs> up here. Nah. No, and if y'all didn't pick him, was it because yeah. of the shit surrounding right, him? Right. Nah, he funny, but he nah. just, he wouldn't move nobody out of my top five. I can't do okay. that. That's like me saying I don't listen to no R. Kelly music no more. Like if R. Kelly jam oh, come on, I'm not gonna Kelly. I'm not gonna cut shut the radio off. <laughs> you know but nah, I don't, but nah. no, and, and to that though, if you are of a certain age, you almost kind of forget that he actually did stand up. Bill oh, you talking about Bill? Oh yeah, no you know doubt. Shit, it was before our time. Cause that himself exactly. was funny. It was before our time. Yeah, that that one bit he had about. So whenever he talking about his his son, yeah. that shit is hilarious. <laughs> or his wife Camille. Yeah, yeah. or his wife Camille. Funny. Yeah, Enos. But um, no. Nah, but Enos. you know what? Some good honorable mentions who funny as hell like Sinbad. Sinbad is funny as a motherfucker. Yeah, Sinbad was funny. Yeah, I had shit. to go back to him because I, no, I I hated Sinbad, on Sinbad for a while. Did you really? Sinbad, Sinbad was Sinbad. funny. What's as one of the best stand-ups you ever saw? Sinbad. One of them well, was Sinbad. Okay, besides Sinbad. Oh, one of the best I ever saw. Period. Yeah. I mean, like the name of the actual. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, it, Damon Wayans. The last oh, thing. Oh yeah, that one was funny. As Damon Wayans. Hey, listen. Honorable mention. He was talking about his kids. I wish you would do one more, my nigga. One more, my yeah, that name. That was funny. That, and that then what's the name? Uh, no, and I ain't mad at that shit. Uh, Get that one. Cat Williams. Man, Cat Williams. Yeah, Cat Williams, some, yep. Had some funny-ass stand-up. And man. I'm about yeah. to say something. And I'm about to say something right now. And I and I like Kevin Hart. And I really like Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin Hart. Hart got some dope ones. But if it wasn't for Cat Williams... Getting out the way. Kind of getting out the way. <laughs> you might have had a rough time, man. Because Cat was... He was... Cat might have... Hey... And you know what? Something that didn't come up, dog, with all of us, we all, you know, I, I hate that when I always bring this up, but uh, mm. nobody said anybody white, I don't think, as comedy. Oh, we're going to tell you why. But but I'm going to tell you, I, George Carlin was funny as hell. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, yeah George Carlin was funny as hell. George but don't forget Carlin. Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, Andrew Dice Clay. Don't forget Clay Andrew funny, Dice no, motherfucking Clay. Don't, oh! George Carlin. Uh, yeah, Andrew, Andrew Dice, Dice Clay. Clay. It's um, a lot of them out there. Um... Uh, I like Louis. What's his name? Black. Uh, Louis C.K. No, Louis not Louis C.K. Yeah, I think he just getting. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say. Didn't he just have some controversy? Yeah, sorry, no, no, he not his him. Wife taken away. From him. Yeah. No, black. It's something black. Oh yeah, I can't remember his name. Is it Louis Black? Is it Louis Black? Oh. I, you know what? I know. 
that might be some part of racism, but whatever. I can't forget his name. No, I forget your name. No, but, but anyway, George you funny as hell. Was funny, and I, no, yeah, honestly, it was Seinfeld. Some, I was about to say it's some Jerry Seinfeld shit that's funny. I I Jerry seen, Seinfeld was is funny. Yeah, I hadn't I'm seen not about to say. Jerry yeah, I seen I seen some of Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld yeah. is funny. He's I mean, fucking I mean, hilarious. No, I mean, yeah, and it might be some of a <laughs> subconscious thing, probably. No, it's just that I don't gravitate. <laughs> it's real shit. I, I, I just don't gravitate toward it. And, and that's it. It's that's, a culture thing. Yeah. It's the environment we grew up in. We didn't really grow up watching that type of stuff. It wasn't really in our fucking homes right. and, you know, stuff like that. It wasn't a part of our culture, so we didn't grow grow up watching it, so that's why it wasn't ever in our I think or if side we were, of picking it. If we were actual, if we were comedians, we'd probably have a different... Right, because we'd be looking at it from a historical standpoint. Right. We'd, we'd be probably looking at it from Right, yeah. we would have studied it. Nah, so, I but yeah. Nah. But yeah, it's a lot of honorable mentions. But man, I will watch so. the stand up over a, over a hey, picture. Hey, real quick, day. shout out to all the you know up and coming cats. You got like Ha Ha Davis and a whole yeah. bunch of other cats. that's like yeah. social media fucking geniuses with the comedy and shit, man. And, so you got uh, a lot of cats out and, here. And uh, another thing we didn't bring up, guys. Uh, I don't know if this was conscious or not, but we didn't say any women. And uh, I just like saying some women comedians out there that's funny too. Uh, so. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, maybe it's a different list, but there is some women comedians. I mean, you we have, get it, G. We got Monique. We fucking pigs, okay? I we, mean, we Monique is funny. I mean, um, Monique Adele funny, Gibbons. Nah, you got uh, a lot of women. Monique out here. is funny, but I don't think she has any stand up that's funnier than any of the guys we mentioned. I don't. No. 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 <laughs> I don't. You can even go. You can go back as far as mom, moms, Mabley and stuff like that. Yeah. No, there's a lot of women out there that's. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. And shout out to old girl uh, who did her the first oh, black Haddish? woman who did oh. yeah oh, who Tiffany did Haddish. the Saturday Night Live host yeah yeah Tiffany she Haddish yeah huh? she's not that funny you don't think that she was funny in that girl's show I, I think she's more and it goes back to that scripted comedy yeah, 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 yeah I think she's better at the scripted comedy and stuff like that but you know still shout out to her mm. I think she's cutie I, tell I you mean that. yeah that and I hadn't seen a whole bunch of her stuff I've seen her do sets like when I say like comic view set. Like, you know how they be yeah. for 10, 15 minutes. I think I, I hadn't seen a full One of her chart. funniest things I saw, Snoop had something. Snoop <clears throat> had a, a comedy thing. It was a girl's, a com- it was something he did for all, for the girl comedian Snoop did and okay. uh, she was on there and she, she mm-hmm. rocked that mother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you got like Simone and uh, but Adele Gibbons was funny as hell. No, she Adele Gibbons is hilarious. Yeah. She fucking hilarious. Yeah, she was funny as hell. And shout out to D.L. Hughley too, man. And D.L. Hughley to me, you know, I don't, you know, I ain't trying to bring up niggas' personal shit, but back in the day, D.L. Hughley used to be a lot more funnier when he had Man. alcohol in his hands. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? When he was on fucking... You, con- uh, right <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he used to snap on niggas in the crowd and shit oh, so like he, that. He don't, he, he don't drink no more and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't think oh, so. Okay. I don't, you know, hang with D.L., but it just seemed like <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that era. He got a radio DL. show. I thought maybe he said it on there. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And another one was Eddie Griffin, man. Oh, yeah, Eddie Griffin Eddie was Griffin funny. Got some funny. Yeah, hell, fuck yeah. Stand up, dog. And what about uh, Ricky? Uh, used to do a uh, comedy. Uh, Ricky Harris? Yeah, was it Ricky Harris? Ricky yeah, Ricky, Ricky Smiley. Oh, Ricky no, Smiley. No. Ricky Smiley. No, he, had his, he, had a, he had a time. He had a, he had a couple. Shout yeah. out to Ricky Harris, though. Yeah. He passed away. Yeah, you know, absolutely, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Harris was funny in the vein of, like, DJ Pooh. Like, these are some funny guys, but we don't. And that's really crazy because DJ Pooh is not a comedian, but he's he hilarious. Funny as hell. Hey, but he yeah. fucking hilarious. Shout out funny to as hell. Uh, Ricky Harris for giving us all those good uh, Snoop Dogg skits. You, listen, nobody in the room is better than yours. In your balls, in your mouth, <laughs> in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking call at number five. Nigga yes, said. sir. My dick's in your ear, Carly. You want to say what? You want to say what? <laughs> nigga, I own this motherfucker. My yeah. name is Pat Al. <laughs> like, damn. But I, you know what, G? I'm glad that you bring up the whole, you know, we constantly don't be mentioning the white and the stuff like that. You brought that up a couple of times. <laughs> so what's interesting to me, and we've had this discussion plenty of times All right. off camera, I don't know of course. He, I don't know what he's talking about. Now. I don't know what's happening here. G Money has made statements before. I, I don't know what's happening. That a black quarterback. I don't condone this. Yeah. Would never, ever. Win the Super Bowl. Doug Williams was the last one. Was the last one and gonna be the only one. Now, with that said, now with that said, I stamped that and he stamped that. And I approved approved that. And he approved that. Yes, Blue Magic. Blue Magic. (laughs) Now, with that said, (laughs) with that said, (laughs) why isn't Russell Wilson black enough for you? 
It's not that he's <laughs> black enough. It's just like what? It's just like Obama. He was our first biracial president. So Obama wasn't <laughs> black enough to be the black first black president. He was biracial. He was mixed. So everybody that's biracial. In your opinion, is really not black enough. They're no, I, I, no, you're saying not black enough. I'm no, just, I'm saying I'm that saying this is biracial. so. That's no, it. what I'm saying is Doug Williams is black. Is the only black quarterback to ever won the Super Bowl. In your opinion, yes. No matter the opinion of other people who think Russell Wilson was also a black quarterback that won. Everybody has opinions. I'm just going by what so he's, he's not. Black. He's not black. Russell uh, Wilson. No. Russell, no, he is. He's mixed. He's mixed. No, I'm saying but, he's not. Well, he's not it's, black. He's okay, enough. Okay, let me say this. Well, let's, man, let's, man, I'm going to break it down. I'm, I'm break, Holly Berry. Me, is, is Holly Berry black mixed. enough to be she a mixed. black actress? Well, let me say this. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna break <laughs> I'm it, asking you. No, I'm saying she makes. I'm going to break it down like this. Just like Mariah Carey. I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. There will never be a quarterback that has two black parents that win the Super Bowl going forward. That's as simple as I'm going to put it. A mama and a daddy who's black. That quarterback won't exist that will make it to the Super Bowl. How about that? That will make cool. it or win? I mean, that will win it. Win I'm it. sorry. Yeah, Thank you, bro. Cool. Cool. That will win it. That will win it. Yeah, yeah. Newton, yeah, that, yeah. that will okay. win it. Shit is Who has two yeah. black parents. That, that, that will not but happen. Is, but is Russ... Okay, is Obama black enough to be considered the first black president? Yeah, sure, if you want to call him that, sure. <laughs> no, to you. No, no, he's no. Not. I'm asking about no, you. No, he's anything. not. He's he's mixed. That's what I said. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is Drake enough black enough to say nigga? He's mixed. Is Drake, Drake, is Drake mixed enough black him. enough to say nigga without no no heat against him? I, I mean, he's uh, yeah. Nobody did. I mean, you got Puerto Rican saying it too. Fat Jonah saying nigga. <laughs> he's not black. Do you have a problem with, with it? With, I don't give a fuck who, as long as you're not pure uh, Caucasian from the Caucasus Mountains of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so anybody can say, so So Obama's not really the first black president in your he's eyes. He's mixed. So he's just a mixed so one. No. He's mixed. So no. Right, he's mixed. So say no. <laughs> <laughs> so just say no. I'm saying, and there you have I'm, it, people. I'm right, saying right. Obama is There you mixed. have it, people. Drake. You are mixed. black enough. Drake is mixed. To do that. But Drake Russell Wilson, mixed. you are not black enough to be Drake. a black quarterback to win the Super I'm not Bowl. Saying that. Obama, not Obama, words. you have no Those right to be calling words. yourself the first black president. Those are not my and Halle Berry, I don't know if I don't you consider this. yourself a beautiful woman or a beautiful black this. woman, but you're not neither one they, of those. I don't condone you're, you're not this. a beautiful black woman. I don't condone this. And they all say they're black till they get into the trouble. Then they something else. They, 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 what did Tiger Woods say he was? Asian, Do they all Asian say that or is that just something that Asian, Tiger Woods Asian. said? Well, Tiger no, Woods no, said that. I'm about to say that's something that Tiger Woods said. It sounds like you're just relegating that to Tiger no, Woods. No, Mariah Carey said she ain't black. Like, so, no, they all black until they get in trouble. Then that white side come out. That's why they mixed. Mm. <laughs> that's why they mixed. <laughs> and that's why I said they're the first mixed or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and to that, to my point, uh, there will be no black quarterback. And when I say black, with two black parents that win the Super Bowl going forward. But that's to your point. That's to my point. <laughs> now you can call Russell. There Williams, you have. You can call him the first black quarterback since Doug Williams. However, or you can call him the first mixed. However, I owe and what's the civil uh, rights and affirmative uh, action before, to the porn stars we, I picked on the last episode. No, it's because it's not. Since we got, got that established, yeah. then why is that? Why do you? Oh, why well, don't Because, oh, okay. So <laughs> let's get to I that. Because Lois is bringing it, it out. No, it came out. No, 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 no. Why do you think that? I wasn't even going to no, go that far. No, no, I know why. No, but oh, yes, no, thank oh, you, bro. Oh, no. It I, is something that goes with that. He just brought that to light. But I we did. had a oh, whole okay. discussion. I mean, I've heard that. We had many discussions. I wasn't a part of the discussion. And the real reason, bro, it ain't even that deep. The real reason was I said that it came from Michael Vick, really, and like a Drew Brees thing. And I said, you're not going to have a quarterback who can't read defenses and run around and last and win a Super Bowl. And Cam Newton tried. So you're saying it's not going to be a black person ever that's going to be able to With do two that. black parents. Remember, black right. parents. Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it really a, has yeah. nothing to do with you reading defense yeah, or do. nothing. Yeah, it do. No, it don't. Yeah, it do. Or it just has yeah, this. That black people can't read defenses like their white no, counterparts. Because no, no. that's kind of what yeah, you're saying. I, yeah, I'm, not Cause, I'm, not, cause, I'm not trying to put you in Because Warren Moon can read defense. Is that what it's kind of saying? Warren Moon ain't one shit. Exactly. So it's just black. He got two black parents. 
<laughs> so it doesn't have anything to do with style of play. It doesn't. Or skill level. It's, it's, it's just does. something that because, justifies because argument. Bro, because bro, one, if you could, know it, one could cancel the other out. No, because, bro, if you notice, the only ones that play that way are the black quarterbacks. Yeah. So you have to be white in order to read defense. Hey, yes. man. No, not to read defenses. Because that's what I was saying about Warren Moon. He can read defenses, but... But he didn't win shit. But, so the only reason he didn't win is because his parents was black. No, yeah. no. That's what yes. you just said. No, 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 no. That's exactly no. what you just said. But I'm saying, well, he wasn't good so... At... No, that's the catalyst. <laughs> but that's not the whole reason. That's what I'm saying. Low took Cam one Newton, thing you don't have a uh, fucking chance. The whole thing. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. It's not his fault. No, but mentioning that, all right, moving on, moving yeah. on. What do you, what do y'all, <laughs> no, real quick, what do y'all it thinking just, about? Hey, it's just not going to happen. Hmm? But what do y'all think about um, Colin Kaepernick? A guy that does not, a uh, black quarterback. Mixed, he's mixed. What, okay, yeah, yeah. mixed quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. But the controversy is surrounding him or whatever, you know, with the flag and all of that. And right. the, all yeah, of that. Kneeling. Getting a GQ, citizen of the year. Yeah, it was a lot of but, uproar on that. And it's crazy. I now can't. You get, oh, go ahead. Right, I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say, what do you guys? What you feeling on that? Because my feeling is, you give this guy a GQ Citizen of the Year. To me, in that, in a sense, that's a slap in the face because he's still not playing. He's still not allowed to play in a, in something well, that he he doesn't have a job. What he's meant well, to have a job. In. I think they gave him GQ not because of his not playing. Because of citizen, his, active, his, his activism, yeah, his citizen. Like that. Yeah, I don't a, think it, football has nothing to do with it. But what I'm saying is you put him on a pe- pedestal enough to give him a GQ cover, but he's not a pedestal enough to be a forefront of your sport? Well, that, sport well, well, GQ, well, GQ ain't, GQ ain't, got, ain't got nothing No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm that's just what saying. I'm saying. I think no, that's no, 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 lose. it's not GQ. I'm not saying GQ. I'm just saying it's just an, all right, yeah. well, fuck it. What's y'all take on it? Well, I, that's think, what the question I is. honestly think he shouldn't have got it. To okay. be honest well, with you, um, I think somebody, I think actually, uh, this me personally, I think J.J. Watt should have got it. And only reason I said it because when that shit when that shit happened down in Houston, the stuff that JJ Watt was doing down there to help all those people, man, like all like like it was ridiculous the stuff that he did down there in Houston when they was doing them floods and stuff like that. <clears throat> Not saying that I mean Kaepernick, I mean he could have I mean they could have did it, all of them could have got it, you know what I'm saying? But I just think that JJ Watt what he what he did probably warranted a lot more. But I get it. Because, because he was helping somebody in, in an acute crisis instead of a historical not, sense of war or something like that. Yeah, I mean, because, again, if you're doing it for the GQ cover of the year, I mean, you know what I'm saying? This year, I feel like what J.J. Watt did was more... Because, I mean, I get it. I'm going to tell you why that didn't happen. Go ahead. That didn't happen? J.J. Watt didn't help nobody? No, why he didn't get it. Oh, J.J. Watt? It's just like the Grammys, how you have to release within this time frame. To make the cover. To make oh, the that's why? Yeah. Oh, Houston, I didn't know. Houston happened too late. Oh, I didn't Dallas. know that. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't <laughs> I, I, not, to, not, to, not to downplay the I situation. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they no. wrote this article and did the photo shoot and all that probably it, months before. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know because the shit just came out. I, so I didn't know. I didn't know. All right, yeah, so what's Because, yeah. again, we're talking about an old medium. We still talking about magazines. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They could have did it last week. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. No, so I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. So what's your take on it, bro? What's your take on it? I can't say that he couldn't have got it. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't. I didn't read the article. I don't follow him like that. I mean, outside of what they keep talking about with kneeling and stuff like that. But from what I hear and what I understand, he's kind of been on the front lines for a few years mm-hmm. with not necessarily the protests, but donating out of his own pocket for certain mm-hmm. charities, actually mm-hmm. leading uh, some of these movements and some of these um, events and some of these rallies and things like that, especially since he doesn't have a job, so he has time yeah. to do these things. So exactly. he's been out there doing it. And again, I didn't read the article, so I don't know if they brought anything to light that we did not know. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always these situations where guys donate, guys show up, they donate their time, money, or whatever, and it's not necessarily a big press release. So right, right. that could be, he could have done a bunch of that shit over the year that we don't know about, and this article is bringing it to light. So without reading it, I can't say he didn't get it. Shouldn't have got it. Mm-hmm. I I understand why they picked him as well, because it, obviously they're a magazine, they're a publication, they're trying to sell right. magazines. I'm about to say, they're trying to sell, and he's the biggest figure. Right, it's not a bad of- pick. Controversial. I don't think it's a bad pick, Mm -hmm. but I totally understand why they picked them. Yeah, and let me clarify what I was trying to say. I wasn't saying that GQ, I wasn't trying to say that GQ made a bad pick, but I was more so throwing the blame at the NFL. I think the NFL is such, you know what I'm saying, hypocrites 
bullshit and stuff like that. You can mm-hmm. go ahead and blackball or say you're not blackballing a guy from the NFL who was just simply standing up for stuff that he believed in. But at the same time, you got cats that you're giving checks out to weekly that's been accused mm-hmm. of rape. Yeah, sexual assault. Sexual assault multiple times it's just not on right. multiple occasions who is still getting a check. But a guy who just literally stood up for somewhat for what he believed in, you guys don't have one. Y'all don't want to have nothing to do with him. But you got another publication or another entity in itself saying that this guy deserves a citizenship award. Now this guy comes from y'all fraternity, the NFL fraternity, and y'all can't give him nothing. <clears throat> y'all don't think he's doing nothing right? That shit to me is just that shit crazy to it's me. It's selfish because the only, yeah, reason, selfish that the, only reason that they're not doing anything for him, whether they think he can actually contribute to a team or not, I ain't gonna sit here and argue that point. The point is, we could get into that, but they, since this isn't a sports talk show, right, we're not. Right, right. But yeah, they just right. don't want to be associated with with his what with he brings. The situation. Right, and they it's don't, not. They don't want the controversy. And around. I don't even think that most of the people who have whatever power or control in the NFL, I don't think they disagree with him. I just think that no, they, see they just they, too, they see their bottom line, right? And they and they don't yeah. want right. And no, and that's yeah, they all, see it's all about face about value. They don't want exactly. Yeah, they, they don't want yeah, that type on, of man. they don't want that type of attention. They don't want that smoke. No, no they don't want no. it. Like it's, you said, it's, it's going to affect crazy. their bottom line. And that, at the end of the day, it's a business. No, it definitely is. And so, you know. I mean, you got to kind of, but, you know, GQ's been pro- kind of progressive anyway. Yeah, you know, with, with a lot of different Outside stuff. of that. No I doubt. Mean, no doubt. Know, I think they did something with the transgender community at one point. So, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're not afraid to put step in the shit, so to speak, you know, for lack nah, of a better term. They, but, they'll put their ass on the line for a hot second. Yeah. Depending but, on how far they got to swing it out there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, and again, citizen of the year is it's just one of those things where I don't think it's necessarily up to the people anyway. I think it's up to the people in their no, room. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we would never vote on it. Yeah. Y'all want to take a, uh, see if we can get a caller on? Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, why not? Uh, right, that's lined up. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, this is something new, man. We're going to see if we can get a caller on uh, to uh, contribute to the podcast. See if it, see if you pick up. You know how you know how our people are. You don't do a... Um... He's not biracial, is he? No. <laughs> Both his parents are black. Screen is a call. My God, so right, so we'll see if, he can, if we get him. If not, you know how that, that's just how our people work. Cause see, I told him we was gonna call him around this time, but <laughs> the I'm sorry. The yeah, person. see, the person I'm calling <laughs> has a yeah, voice. So you know, both his, his parents are black. He, yeah, he's probably he's probably somewhere smoking right now. So <laughs> damn, he ain't even set up the voicemail. He said, "Fuck it, I don't need no We gonna do that. We gonna get that set up another time. <laughs> Real quick though, before we do anything else or end it out or whatever we do, shout out to DJ Hollywood. He had, you know, up for the album of the year, Detroit album of the year. What's it, the website? Um, UndergroundHipHop.com. Yep, UndergroundHipHop.com. Y'all make that vote, man. He got Romeo Must Die out here. All three of us was part of that project, man. Mm -hmm. We was blessed to be on that project. Get it out there to the peoples, man. So y'all vote. Make that vote again, pro, one more time. What's the website? Yeah, UndergroundHipHop.com. Yes, sir. I think it's mixtape of the year, and there's another category he's in. I want to say... Either DJ of the year or performance DJ of the year, or something like that. I can't remember which, which it is exactly. But it's two different categories. Yep, so yep. If you see DJ Hollywood in either of those categories, just know that that's one. Yep, make that vote, man. Go check, man. Shout out Hollywood. When is it? Any? I I, I know. I think the, it's in January. I think the actual okay. award is in January, but you can vote up until then. But again, I don't know the stipulations, so go ahead to the okay. website. But I, I believe it's in January. Cause I know I missed it last year. I think it was like on a Wednesday night or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 was was it, I was sure. Yeah, man. We got top five. Top. Oh, we did top five. We did, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you, got, you know what it is? I don't know. We ain't gonna get y'all no promotion. Uh, right? <laughs> we ain't gonna promote y'all to y'all. Yeah, we we gonna hook you. We gotta wait on that. So what we got? Oh man, I'm, I'm tapped. Turns out. No, it looked like we might be spent, good people. So I mean, I'm glad y'all tuned in. You know, we gonna have some more. Stuff on the way, and we need y'all. First of all, we want y'all to subscribe. Of course. If y'all, we need y'all to subscribe. If you got friends, let them friends subscribe. Everybody, tell them to subscribe. 
Also, we need them comments. We need some ideas. Give us some. Give us something y'all want to know. If y'all feel that we was talking about something that y'all got opinions on, we may need them too. You know what I'm saying? So check us out. Where the mic at? You know, fellas, what y'all got? Yeah, man, same thing. Comments, commentary regarding the episode itself as well as what you might want to see going forward. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's nothing to do with it. Just type it in there. Say whatever you got to say. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other episodes as well as other content. Absolutely. On the page as well, because this is just catalyst for you getting tuned into the other things going on. So, spend some time on the page, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Man. Yes, sir. And, um, also, man, yeah, everybody, please subscribe. Like they said, um, and uh, we might have something special for y'all in the way. Um, we brewing up, trying to get this uh, chairman of the boards off the ground. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's gonna be a collective of us three uh, producers putting our heads together, putting out an album, and. Uh, Bring it to y'all, man. See what y'all see what y'all think about it. But uh, other than that, think we we good, fellas. Yeah, good to go. Call it a wrap, man. Till next time. See y'all right. next time. We'll see y'all next time. Yes, sir. Peace.